Hello, welcome to another Facebook Friday. It's another Frilici Friday. I don't know about you guys, but the sun is actually shining here in Michigan for us. It's been a few days, so you know, it's kind of um, brightening my mood, I feel like, because wow, what a bunch of craziness we are living with and in a crazy, crazy world right now, right? Oh, hopefully everybody's um, staying safe. Hey, Danielle, how are you? I have a feeling it's funny. I was like, you know, most people are home at this point. So hopefully we'll get lots of fun friends that can actually come and hang out with us on the live today that are normally at work. So hey, Charlene, hello, hello. So welcome, you guys. If you haven't joined me before on a Facebook Live, welcome, welcome, welcome. And I'm so glad you're here to hang out with us. Hey, Philomena. Hello, good morning. So we are going to, in just a little bit, we are going to um, feature our product of the week, this awesome full of happiness stamp set. Such a cute stamp set, that little baby chick. I've had so much fun playing with this stamp set, so I can't wait to show you guys the projects that we're going to um, make a little bit later on in the Facebook Live, so I have lots of fun with that. Um, and just so you know, that's how we kind of do it pretty much every week on Facebook Live is I pick a product of the week earlier in the week, and we kind of feature um, projects made with that product of the week all week long right here on our Facebook group. And then on Friday, we get to make a couple of fun projects with that product of the week. Another fun thing, hey Nikki, um, I would love to start doing is if you have made a project with the full of happiness stamp set or whatever our product of the week is I would love for you to share that right here on our Facebook group too because um, that way people can see lots of different fun ideas with that in this case a stamp set right so let's see uh, here I am like you know how after you brush your hair then you feel like you have like hairs all over on you so sorry it, <laughs> distraction distracting moment there so um, <clears throat> Yeah, we, um, I'll just kind of chat for a couple minutes while people are popping on. Um, I know things are crazy for everybody everywhere. So kind of in our world, you know, I'm always talking about basketball, right? Now I have no basketball to talk about. Um, the kids were bummed. We originally, like last probably Thursday, I think all the moms at that point were thinking, oh, the boys are still going to be able to play in their last district game on Friday night. And um, we were just going to make signs and try to fill up the gym as much as we could because it was only supposed to be parents that could get to come watch the game. Hey, Nancy. Um, so we were, like I said, just trying to do anything that we could to make it feel like more people were going to be at that game on Friday night. And then I don't know, I think it was Friday morning we got the news, hey Sharon, hey Diana, um, that you know the MHSAA had canceled all events and obviously like the trickle down from all of that with the NCAA tournament, I love basketball you guys, this is like March madness, all of madness in a whole different way now, right? So yeah, I know, I mean it's like silly trivial little things but when that's a part of your life, you know, it just is what it is, right? But we're dealing with it. So the kids are home. It's kind of weird. Like I saw somebody, a friend of mine, post on Facebook, yeah, I just went to the grocery store and bought $1,500 in groceries because my kids are home from school. And I have a feeling, we're not there yet, but Kate's already been to the store once today and he realized all these things that he didn't get. So he'll probably be heading back out. <laughs> Who knows? So anyway, but hopefully everybody's good and safe and feeling okay and staying away from anybody that is sick or thinks they might be sick. Um, yeah, I don't know. Ch tell me how you guys are doing. And then there was the earthquake. Nikki, you're on here. The earthquake out in Salt Lake City, too. Like, oh, my gosh. Could there not be? I, like, kind of jokingly said to Nikki, like, what else could happen? And, you know, her comment was, I don't want to know what else can happen. But anyway, Stampin' Up! posted the, um, the Riverton office. Everything was fine. I don't think anything happened. And I think it's Knob, Knob, I'm not sure how you say it. Anyway, that's our manufacturing facility that's um, not right in Salt Lake City, but kind of a ways away. Um, I'm assuming everything is fine there. They didn't post anything. I think it was really more like Salt Lake City area. Um, <clears throat> oh yeah, Sharon's saying the Highland dancing competitions are canceled too. Yeah, Lily was supposed to have, I don't even know what weekend we're on now. I guess it would have been this weekend. Yeah, she was supposed to have a dance um, competition this weekend and those have all been canceled although it's interesting because the one company that was holding this one this weekend they're hopeful like in may they have one scheduled that they'll be able to do it so i don't know it's just so hard to say whether that's even going to be 
possible or not. So they've asked us, you know, do we want to like transfer? Because, you know, we've paid for all of this up front. Do you want to transfer and um, compete in that one in May instead? So I don't know. This is just crazy, crazy times. Um, so, oh yeah, I was talking about the earthquake. Sorry. Huh? Like the squirrel moment, right? <laughs> um, yeah, but so Stampin' Up! posted, they had the earthquake. Stampin' Up! The home office, everything seemed fine there. Um, they didn't, you know, there wasn't any damage or anything, but they actually did shut down the home office and send everybody home. I think just, you know, like that's got to be a crazy thing. And to go home and make sure everybody's okay at home and your house is all right and all of that, you know, to sit and try to work all day long when you're wondering if um, something happened at home. So, hey, Erin, how are you? So, yeah, Stampin' Up's like kind of weathered an additional like chaotic moment through all of this too. So, but they're strong, they're tough. They're, um, I watched a video with Sarah, our um, CEO, um, you know, just kind of talking about the plans that they have in place. Uh, we're still taking orders, we're still shipping orders. They've kind of got like a different, she said it's almost like people either work on A days or B days, so it's kind of every other days. Yeah, Nikki, it's, it had to be crazy. I can't even imagine. Like, I would be freaking out if my house was, like, <laughs> moving at all. Like, oh, my gosh. Oh, so yeah, I'm glad you guys are all okay and safe. Um, but, yeah, so Stampin' Up's doing what they can, as are, you know, most every other company. They're trying to come up with good contingency plans. So, Anyway, but you know what? The thing is, if we have craft supplies in our craft room, like, you know, you can, it's all right if we're like barricaded in our houses for weeks, right? At least I look around my craft room and I would be just fine. So we can still have lots of fun doing what we love. And like I said, still taking orders. So if you're interested in getting something sent to you so that you have it, um, you know, maybe before, I don't know, are things going to shut down? I have no idea. But you know, put your order in as soon as you can to hopefully get things shipped to you, um, you know, in case anything like that does happen. But in the meantime, we are going to have some fun today. All right. So let me, you know, I got my notes. I've got to check my notes. You know, whenever I take a week off, it always feels like I haven't done this in so long. Like, how do I do a Facebook Live again? So <laughs> let me get my uh, mind back in things here. So I think we're going to kind of jump right in. Let's do our first drawing for, these were the metallic pearls. We've got the pretty, the gold and the silver and I have to tell you guys I think I mentioned last time talking about these pearls <laughs> the videos always make it better yeah Philomena I think it's just you can kind of take your mind off things I mean I'm not a like a huge news watcher so I tend to kind of live in a bubble anyway and you know I don't know to be really honest I'm fine with that I mean you know there's all this crazy stuff happening and I'm mindful of it but I don't need to know all the details of everything that's going on <laughs> all over the place, especially with this. Just, you know, bury your head in your craft room and have some fun, right? <laughs> and watch videos too. So, okay, I was talking about these pearls. So I, I jokingly had said, you know, I have, I don't know how many packs of these, and I have used like almost all of my gold pearls and almost none of my silver pearls. Well, a card that we're making actually at class later on this afternoon, my classes are really small, just so you guys know, we are definitely, so I don't know if it's nationwide or if it's like state by state, but in, in Michigan anyway, if you have less than 10 people gathering, like that's still okay as of, what I, you know, as of today anyway. So I never have 10 people in my class anyway. So just so I'm not, hopefully I'm not like scaring or bothering anybody. Um, and we'll practice the social distancing. We'll, you know, sit away from each other too. So, um, but anyway, the one of the cards that we're making at class today actually uses the silver pearl. So I was like super proud of myself that I finally found a card and a way to use my silver pearls. Now we probably need to make about 40,000 of those cards to actually use up all my silver pearls. So I just have to keep coming up with ways to use these. In the meantime, maybe you will win and you can show me what you're doing with your gold metallic pearls and your silver metallic pearls. Yeah, Philomena, same thing in New York also, huh? Yeah. So for now, we are, we're doing it. Um, yeah, number in Kentucky too, Diana. Okay. Sounds like that's kind of the thing. Although I'm pretty sure I heard like California like shut everything down. So who knows? Maybe, you know, that could be spreading around the rest of the country too. Oh my goodness. So anyway, okay, back to, I'm, I'm like, okay, I just want to like put that out of our minds for a little while. And um, in the meantime, we are drawing. So for these pearls, right, if you shared the Facebook Live video, so 
Um, now this week, if you share the Facebook Live video, I'll show you what you could win next Friday. In the meantime though, so if you shared the video or if you signed up for my email list, if you're not already on my email list, which I know you guys know this, but I just like to reiterate it for new people, that is the best way to stay updated on everything we have going on with Stampin' Up! and with the Stamp Studio, myself, Facebook Lives, all of that. That's my best form of communication. Everywhere else is can be a little hit or miss at times because it's hard to keep up with it all. <laughs> so anyway, all right, here we go. So we will draw, I've got five names in my hand, I think. Okay, I gotta like whittle it down. I got one piece of paper in my hand and Miss Vina. So Vina Gomez, congratulations. You are the winner of the Metallic Pearls. So Vina, I will get these sent out to you. All right, I'm gonna put them aside. So we have those right there. Okay, so this week, we are going to give away, so share the video, sign up for my email list. Those are the two ways you get your name entered into the drawing to win. These are the basic pattern decorative masks. Now, they look like absolutely nothing in this package. And I thought maybe I would open them up and show you guys, but then I'm super afraid I'm not going to be able to, I don't want to like, you know how they get a little jumbled around. So, but I will tell you, these are very cool. So you can, hi Lily. <laughs> She's trying to sneak by like, oh, don't even know that I'm here, mom. Um, these masks feature, I made notes, there are trees kind of like that woodland embossing folder, only I feel like it's like more full tree. So there are trees, polka dots, those are awesome. I called it a filigree and then like a kind of a modern background. Um, so very, very cool. Four different masks in this one pack. Hey, Becky, thank you for sharing. I appreciate that. Um, so four different masks in here. You, uh, what I think is really fun is if you lay the mask down on a piece of paper and then you sponge. So you can use like the little sponge dauber that you put on your finger, you know, just kind of tap it in your ink and then you just kind of blot around on here. Super fun. We used to have, um, what were they? And we made banners, like a banner kit that used these masks. And oh my gosh, they had letters and they had, they were bigger polka dots because I think these are more concentrated. Anyway, we had so much fun. I don't know how many different um, banners that Lillian and I made. And actually we made them with the girls at her dance studio for a project one time too. So yeah, these are really fun. There are a couple of different packages. I was actually looking in the annual catalog because I thought, well, maybe I can show a picture in there. And they have a different package in there. So these maybe are in the in the occasions the spring catalog i don't know i know they're current because i typed them the number in and actually a 150 the number is 150697 if you want to look at them too but they're really fun just something kind of different to create like a cool background um kind of another way to stamp if you will so this is what we'll give away on next friday's facebook live fun decorative masks all right so actually let's get that over there too i'm going to stay organized today how about that Ha ha. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, okay, so um, I always love to give shouts out. We've got new downline members. So welcome, Miss Jamie Sanders has just joined our, joined our Inkspired Stampers group. She just got that awesome starter kit deal. Hey, Fran, how are you? I'm glad you can join us. It's funny, there's like a little thing that says I can wave. So I'm just going to wave like physically and not on there's probably a button I can push, but you know, if I push that, then I'll probably screw something up. So <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, welcome. Um, so yes, Jamie just bought the starter kit. She took advantage of that awesome starter kit deal. I might as well show you, right? Everything that you could get. So this is my little version of a starter kit. I'm gonna try to lift it up and show you, like look at, so this is just an example of $125 in product. You guys can pick whatever you want. If you wanted all snail refills, you could get $125 in snail refills if you wanted. So I'm showing, I've got a pack of the Tropical Oasis paper. I've got some card stock. I'm gonna try to hold this, I don't know, with which hand. Let's see, I've got a snail. I've got the Morning Star stamp set. I have one of the label punches. It's not all gonna fit back in here. I have an ink pad that is burying itself in there. I have a couple of blends markers. I have the polka dot, my favorite, the white polka dot tool ribbon. White ribbon is awesome because it goes with everything, right? Super versatile. We've got the morning, um, the stitch star dies that go with the morning star stamp set. We've got a pack of envelopes and I think I put some dimensionals in here too. So can you see that's like an example of $125 in product. You only pay $99 plus sales tax. Plus in the back here, I have 
another free stamp set I love. That is the Rooted in Nature stamp set, right? So very, very cool. You can get the most expensive stamp set that you don't already have. That's your extra free stamp set. You get the little mini paper trimmer, so darn cute. Okay, nothing's gonna, ooh, it is gonna fit. And then, one more, one more, one more. I'm trying so hard not to drop anything. Um, the pack of, the little sampler pack of designer series paper, six by six paper pack, all for $99 plus sales tax. That is still going on, it's still good, through March 31st. So we have, what is today, the 20th? So we have 11, 11, 12 days left to get that awesome starter kit deal. So think about that. Let me know if you have any questions. It's awesome, awesome, awesome. Plus you get 20% off of everything you order after that. And you get to hang out with me and another cool Facebook group, the Ink Spared Stampers Facebook group, which is just for my downline. We do meetings every month too. We do them on Facebook Live. So if you're not local, if you can't make it to the meeting that night, everything's on Facebook Live too. So <clears throat> excuse me, I'm getting like a little frogger in my throat. And then I also want to give a shout out to Sherilyn Hendrick and Lori Cresswell, who have already, they bought the starter kit earlier in celebration, and they've already reached their $300 quarterly minimum, which basically means they're good. They're going to keep their demonstrator active, their status active, at least until June now. And then every three months, you have to put a $300 or $300 in orders in. People are always asking me about that too. If you don't, if you don't put $300 in orders in, like nothing awful happens. The only thing that happens is when you try to go to stampinup.com and use your demonstrator ID and your password, you just can't get onto the website any longer. So you can't order and get your discount any longer. But that's it. Like it's really not a big deal. I would love for people to buy the starter kit and order and use their discount and stay active for forever, but that doesn't always happen and it's really not a big deal. So just don't stress out about the like what's next. Get the great deal and then see what happens from there. So, but I'm here to help answer any of those questions too. Okay? So, but again, congratulations to Cheryl and Lori who've already reach their $300 quarterly minimum. And then Erin Miller, who I think is still watching, um, she's getting really close to her uh, $300 quarterly minimum as well. So I got some rock stars in my Inkspired Stampers group. You guys are doing awesome. Um, and I just love having you guys all be a part of our group. So thank you. Um, okay, so I um, was going to do my drawing for the, it was called the I Say Hello stamp set but I didn't have any online orders for the last two weeks. So that's kind of crazy. I'm kind of, I'm bumming a little bit because I'm not sure if I'm like not doing something right. The one question I maybe want to throw out to you guys is I had changed and was going to send make and takes to everybody instead of like final um, finished cards as a thank you. So I'd love for you guys to weigh in on that. Maybe that's why people aren't putting orders in. I don't know. But anyway, I, I do truly appreciate your online orders. And that's, that is also what helps me be able to continue to keep doing the Facebook Live. So truly, truly, truly appreciate your orders. I know that there are so many demonstrators to choose from. A lot of people that watch are already demonstrators. Hey, Susie. So I understand that. You need to order through your own demo ID to get your discount. But if you have your choice of demonstrators and you're enjoying the Facebook Live videos, I would love for you to order through me. And I'll give you the host code in just a little bit too. That, that helps you make sure that you order through me. <clears throat> All right, I'm talking too much. I got to get a sip of water. One sec, please. All right, so I'm going to move on and give the announcement for what we will give away on next Friday's Facebook Live. If you put an online order in, it's just a $30 order. Now, right now, I don't know why you wouldn't bump it up to $50 to get your free celebration item. Plus, you also get from me always when you put a $50 order in online, either this month it is a pack of the, why am I, the glitter enamel dots, right? A full pack, I have full packs now. Or you can get the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial. This is the March tutorial. I'm actually flipping better than I normally do. So you can kind of see the pictures and then you see all the instructions. Oh, it's not going to flip very well anymore. There. Okay. Not too bad. So anyway, you can get this full tutorial for free with a $50 order, or you get the um, glitter enamel dots. I don't know why I can't remember what those are called. So just use the host code. Um, I will give you that. I'm trying to make sure. Yes, I do have it right here. It's also always on my blog at gathering ink with a K, gatheringinspiration.com. Okay. 
but back to the drawing, right? So next Friday, we also are gonna do a drawing. If you put your order in and use that host code, your name goes in the drawing to win the well-dressed stamp set. Now, this is one of the new celebration items. So if you haven't gotten any of the new items for celebration, this one you could win when you put your order in. I will also tell you that um, I have uh, pretty much all of the other um, stamp sets that you can get for free with a $50 order. So next Friday, when I do this drawing, if it turns out you already have, if you put your order in, use the host code, if you already have this stamp set and you want a different one, just send me a message. I've got others. I can be super flexible with that. I just am trying to encourage your online orders. So however I can get those, like I said, I truly appreciate them. So in the meantime, though, this is what I'll be advertising that we'll be drawing for, but you can substitute for one of the other um, free stamp sets um, for celebration if you already have this one and your name is wrong. Next Friday, okay? Hopefully, sometimes, you know, I talk so much, I'm like, does that all make sense? I hope it makes sense. So, all right, all right, all right. Oh, let's see. I had another thought of something else I was gonna show you guys, but we're moving on. <clears throat> I wanna do a quick reminder. Tropical Oasis class to go. So I have four different options for the class to go. I'm not gonna run through them all because they're all on my blog at Gathering Ink with a K, gatheringinspiration.com. I just wanna show you the cards really quick because you could get parts and pieces to make two of each of these awesome. So right, I keep saying I'm bringing spring break to you because clearly, I don't think anybody's really, other than people that are already in Florida, most people are not going on spring break this year, which is a super, like, it's a heartbreaker. Oh my gosh, we finally, like, finally got plans made and then had to, like, cancel everything. Um, I feel like I just got them made and then a week later, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> sorry, I have to turn around and cancel them. So one more sip of water. <coughs> Now I'm feeling like I'm gonna need my peppermint. I have dry throat today. So if you want any more details on the Tropical Oasis class to go, just let me know. But they're on my blog, gatheringinspiration.com. RSVPs are actually due next Friday the 27th. So if you want one of those kits, make sure you do that sooner than later so I can get you on the list and get that sent out to you. Um, oh, that's what I think I was starting to think about back when I showed you. So this is one of the new, well, new this month in March, right? Oh, the well-dressed stamp set free with a $50 order. And then I have to show you guys because I love this foil paper. It is called the Flowering Foils Specialty Designer Series Paper. And you've probably seen lots of really pretty projects made with it. So the kind of fun part, and this is all... This is what I have. Oh, that one even flopped down. So I only have a little bit of the little baby flowers. I've used all my other pieces. Then can you see the other foil pages? There's big floral, there's kind of the print, and then some more kind of geometric flowers, I guess I'd say. Yeah. <coughs> anyway, this paper is super fun, just as is, right? It's very, very pretty. Or you can, um, they call it emboss resist because like these pieces are all embossed. So if you were to kind of sponge color on here, the color would go to the white and not to where it's embossed. And that's a super pretty um, thing to do with this paper too. So you can get full um, pack, 12 pieces. So you get, is that right, 12? You must get three of each. Yeah, three times four is 12, right? Yep, okay. So you can get um, three, different she three sheets of each of these patterns of designer series paper free with your $50 order. The other fun one that I have to show you guys is, this is called the So Very Vellum Specialty Designer Series Paper. Can you guys see that? So pretty, like springy for Easter. So pool party, I think this is soft sea foam and purple posy, super pretty. And can you kind of see it's like embossed? there too. So it's already all kind of textured and ready to go for you. So another free item with your $50 order. Then it gets even better. So that was back earlier this month. They announced like the five or six new free items. Um, on March 24th, so next Tuesday, they are actually going to announce even more free celebration items. So it's kind of like one last ditch effort to um, get your orders in, right? And get some more sales from for Stampin' Up! from their perspective and give you guys free stuff. And this is going to be current merchandise, so current catalog merchandise. So it's not going to be anything new, but it's going to be something that like, oh, I didn't have that 
whatever. And gee, I can get that for free with my $50 order or maybe $100. I don't know. They haven't told us that. Anyway, new stuff coming on Tuesday, March 24th. So watch for that. I will post on our Facebook group and email about it. Um, it'll be on my blog so you guys will not miss it or just go to stampinup.com. So go to stampinup.com. You click on shop in the upper right hand corner and then on the left hand side there'll be a whole list just click on celebration you'll be able to see everything you can get free with your orders there hey bonnie hello welcome glad you can join us um okay trying to make sure that i told you guys so um just one more quick thing we have our i think our one day crafting retreat on saturday april 18th so that's coming up very soon today is actually the rsv last day to rsvp and put your payment in to um, get the extra free goodie item in your goodie bag that you'll be getting on April 18th. The other thing is, so, cause I'm, we're just gonna have to kind of wait and see, like, can we do that or not? Honestly, right now, I don't even have 10 people. So as long as it's like the 10 person limit, it's a huge space. I mean, we could definitely be <laughs> enough apart from people. So we'll just have, we'll have to kind of just wait and see on that. But my alternative plan, if we can't have the live crafting day, is to give everyone the retreat in a box, which is the other option if you're not local to me you can get the retreat in a box and I've been emailing and posting on my Facebook um, page and um, my blog too about the retreat in a box so hey yes Linda uh, thank you we are we're doing fine that you know the kids are they're young they they're I mean you know they're maybe a little bit annoyed about things well Cade his rec center the gym closed um, so we've been doing workouts together instead. So, you know, it's like little things like that, but they're young and they kind of don't really, you know, they're a little bit clueless to be honest. <laughs> so they're fine. They're hanging out, doing their thing. Um, they don't mind just kind of being at home, um, chilling out too. So that's, we've been doing a lot of watching movies too, which is really fun. You know, uh, Netflix has been our, <laughs> those companies are going to do really well. That's what I was thinking. Anything that, you know, you can stream, um, books on, t you know, any of that kind of stuff. Those companies are all going to do really well through all this, all the, that enter in home entertainment kind of thing. Right. So, um, okay. So back to the retreat in a box. Um, that's my thought is if we can't do the one day retreat, I'll get everybody a retreat in a box. So basically it's kind of getting everything that you would get at the retreat sent to you. So again, I have more info on my blog if you're interested in that as well. Okay. All right. So I think we are ready to turn the camera down and let me see, let me make sure start our stamping, but yeah, I think we're good. The other thing, um, yeah, too many notes. <laughs> like I said, it's been a while. Okay, we're good though. <clears throat> yeah, all right, turn your heads away for a moment. We are gonna kind of flip the camera down. Hey, Lori, how are you doing? Gonna see you soon at class, right? Okay, turn your heads away for a sec and we're gonna flip the camera down so we can do our stamping and hold Hold on a moment though, this is really, okay. I'm gonna have to do some adjusting here because this looks really low there. Okay, hopefully that's better. We're gonna flip the camera down, see what we've got. Okay, there we go. So as I mentioned earlier, this is the host code that you wanna use. When you put your order in online, the 4P442Y2V, and that's also on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. Okay, so <clears throat> back to our product of the week. This is super cute. I love, when I saw the stamp set, I was like, oh, I can't wait to get it. It's so fun and springy. And I think it's great. So they've got the um, Easter sentiment, right? May your Easter be full of happiness. So great sentiment there. Here's to a new beginning, which I think could even be like a baby kind of a thing. But if not, you can even use this imagery to make like a cute baby card. And then another fun sentiment that says, you always brighten my day. And then just some other little kind of decorative images there too. <coughs> Sorry. 
Okay, so let me show you. This is the first card that we are going to make. Super cute little chickadee there in the little egg, right? Kind of popping right out there. <laughs> Thank you, Linda. I'm glad you like that. And then I did make this one an Easter one. So it says, may your Easter be full of happiness. Sorry, I'm not sure if that was really in the light there. Plus like the soft, pretty spring colors. I think we're all kind of excited about that, right? Okay, so let me get my things out here. <clears throat> Oops, I was like, where's my black ink? I need that, and we've got all of our stamps. So the kind of fun part about this is we are not doing any die cutting today. So we don't even need our big shot. We're actually making this card at class. Spoiler alert, ladies, if anybody's watching, that's gonna be at class later. So I have these piles of what I need for class and I didn't pull like I normally do, I pull one of each of these things out. So I'm all ready to go, but that's okay. We're good here. Ooh. Oh, I know what I did. I did pull all this stuff out. Hey, Rosemary, perfect timing. So um, this is like, I was saying, spoiler alert. This is a card we're gonna make at class in just a little bit. So yeah, I do have, because you know what I did. I set everything aside and put it in a different place on my craft table, and I walked right past it. Um, but I already, I think I already cut this little egg out, so I gotta go get that. Give me one sec. I gotta go get my little pile of stuff. Pull, please. That's why. Okay. Say, I'm usually, you know, what do I say that every week? I'm usually pretty organized. I don't know. <laughs> it is what it is at this point, ladies. Okay, but yes, yeah, so I did because I didn't want you guys to have to sit and watch me. I think I'm going to cut the other one out because I love, because I want to show you how easy it is to cut this out too because there is not a die. But in the meantime, okay, move stuff out of the way. We are going to start. This is a mint macaron card base, okay? 11, no, eight and a half by 11. We cut it along the 11 inch side at five and a half inches, right there, right? And then we scored it along the eight and a half inch side at four and a quarter inches. Very standard fold to a card, right? Okay, and then we, whoops, that flopped down already. We have a piece of the best dressed designer series paper. Love all these soft floral. And the next actually really pretty too. A lot of it is the like lipstick and makeup and um, I don't know, shoes and purses and all that stuff on one side but this one is very kind of generic on both sides so this dsp measures two by five and a half inches the other thing that you need to know is all of these measurements all the colors all the item codes everything that we're using will be up on my blog after facebook live i'm hoping to do it before i run to class actually we'll see if i can make that happen um, if not it'll be later on this afternoon all the item codes will be up right on my blog for you to know what we're using here. Now this is a piece of so saffron cardstock that measures, this is two and seven eighths by three and three eighths. So I just want a little bit to peek out because my white's gonna fit right over there and the white piece is two and three quarters by three and one quarter, okay? So we are gonna start with our little chickadee stamp and I think actually gonna grab my little paper piercing mat and we're gonna stamp on this <clears throat> just to make sure it goes well okay so we're gonna use so saffron ink which is such a pretty soft yellow I don't use it very much um, I think you know it's a nice springy color so I'm glad to be pulling it back out you can see I'm doing a pretty firm tap 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 but I'm not pressing so hard that I'm gonna get ink all over the place and then again I'm gonna press firmly I'm not wiggling or rocking and lift straight up. So it looks kind of funny at first, right? But then we're gonna give him some eyes and a nose and he's gonna be all set. Okay, so we are gonna do, we'll do the nose. This is pumpkin pie ink. Okay. So we got his little baby nose there and we'll pop that right on there. Okay. And, and we're actually gonna use some of these things again. So I might even just I don't know, do I dare leave them open? We'll see <laughs> whether that was a good idea or not. Okay, black memento ink for the eyes. Add those in. And that's it for the little chickadee, right? How cute. 
Um, I do have a card class today, Bonnie. Yes, I am hoping to be, well, Lily will be there at one and I will be there as close to one as I can be. So stop on by and see me if you would like to. Um, okay, so next we are going to, this is just a little half inch wide strip of Whisper White cardstock. We're gonna use our Mint Macaron ink. Okay. <clears throat> and this is our May Your Easter Be Full of Happiness stamp. We're gonna just do that right about there. All right, that worked well. Ooh, I love that font too. That's a really pretty cursive font on that. Now, I'm gonna grab my paper snips and I'm just gonna cut off the end there and then we're just gonna kinda make a little banner on the end here. So I'm cutting, I just cut in the center up a little bit and then from one corner, and then I think it's easier to flip it over and do it again from the same corner, okay? That's probably why I shouldn't leave that open. I'm gonna get little pieces all over. Yeah, all right, we gotta cover this one up anyway. And this one is kind of freaking me out. <laughs> I know when I start flipping stuff around, I'll probably like get my, my mint macaron cardstock in my pumpkin pie ink. So now I just have a pen and I'm gonna just kind of curl. I'm gonna curl that one up and well, down, up, I don't know. We're just doing this, right? You need some adhesive refills. All right, oh, Bonnie, yes, <laughs> that's true. With all the crafting we get to do, right? So I just kind of made that curl a little bit like that, right? Okay, yes, okay, so then, where's my adhesive right here? Okay, so we're gonna kind of start building our card, right? So we're gonna put our designer series paper on, scoot that little, on our card. I put that up a little bit because I want to keep room for my sentiment. Ooh, I love this paper. Okay, there we go there. And then we're going to put our little chickadee on. This is our so saffron piece. And just this is like a little eighth of an inch peeking out behind just a teeny tiny little smidge there. I did pop that up on dimensionals. I couldn't remember whether I did that or not. Okay, so we're gonna use some dimensionals. Put them behind this piece right here. Oops, get that out of the way. We don't need that right now. Hey Sue, how are you? I think I'm gonna be seeing you at card class soon too. Be good to see you again. Okay, so there's that. Then, so what I didn't do was I just had a scrap piece of Whisper White cardstock. I'm gonna show you on the next one. I'm actually gonna stamp it and we will cut it. So bear with me. This is what we have right here. We're gonna make, we're just gonna put that right on there and I'll show you how I made it on the next card. And when you don't like how you stamp, which does happen, right? You just turn your paper over and you will not be able to see through it. So even though that's all crazy on the back, it's really not a big deal, okay? I didn't line things up quite right because you know it happens, right? Okay, we're gonna, he's so cute. He, she, I don't know. I'm not sure if he's a he or a she. So then on here, I just, where's that gonna touch? I just put a little bit of adhesive where I think it's gonna kind of scroll. So right there, oops, no, I have to scoot over a little bit more, don't I? It's gonna fall off the end of my card otherwise. Right there and right there, there. So we kind of have that little whoosh right there. Now, last step is these are some of our, okay, this is how I keep mine. I don't even have too many left because I think I pulled a bunch out for class. My basic adhesive backed sequins. I just keep them in a like a cello bag from whatever. And then I like to kind of have this on here. So the basic adhesive backed sequins. So you can still see what these things are called. And they come in white and there's like a tan and a, I think that's probably petal pink. I've used a few of them. They're very pretty. And I love because they have the glue dots behind them. Hi, Cade. Hi. <laughs> okay, that's all we're gonna get from him too. Okay, so we're just gonna, I added a bunch actually, cause I, I was like, oh, this just needs a little bit of fun on this card. So I'm just popping them. I put a couple on the little egg there and then I just popped them around a little bit. So there we go, cute, simple. Hey, Miss Kathy, how are you? So glad you can join us. So fun little Easter card there. It could be like, you could say welcome baby on there too. Um, just lots of fun ideas, right? But such a cute, simple, springy card, I would say, right? 
Okay, so let me, I don't have to scoop many of these because we're going to use some of them again. I'm trying to figure out what do I need to get out of the way and what should I keep out here for us? I can do it though. I can figure it out. <clears> okay, <throat> okay, 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 okay. So our next card, let's do this. Let me get that in there too. Okay. Okay, this is another fun one. Another little chickadee. <laughs> Isn't this so cute? It says, you always brighten my day. Thank you, Philomena. I'm glad you like that. I know these are, they're both super sweet cards, aren't they? So this could just be a fun card that you could send to a friend to say, thank you for brightening my day, right? So let me tell you about this one. Actually, this can go back too. I need some of these ink pad colors again, and I'm kind of struggling with which ones I need, but it shouldn't be that difficult, right? Okay, so to make this card, I my little parts and pieces. Okay, let me just show you. Again, we have, this is a piece of Highland Heather cardstock this time. So as we did before along the 11 inch side of our cardstock, we cut it at five and a half inches, and then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches, okay? So there's our card base. Then we have a piece of, this is the Suttles Designer Series paper. So this is so saffron, that light's kind of bright, isn't it? So it looks, it looks brighter than it is, I feel like. But the cute little gingham on one side and then kind of a diamond print on the other. So this piece, measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. Okay, so that's gonna just layer right on there. Then we have a piece of Whisper White cardstock, that one that goes right there, that measures, this is four inches by three inches. So again, we are gonna just stamp our little chickadee. We can just do this. We're gonna use our So Saffron ink because I think this is the perfect color. I know, purple and yellow, Linda, it's awesome, isn't it? It's spring, little pale purple and pale yellow. It's like Easter springtime. Okay, so we're gonna put that one right there. Okay, and again, looks a little weird but until you get the eyes and the nose on there, but bear with me, we're gonna use our pumpkin pie ink again. I find it's help for me, helpful for me to put my little, my pointer finger right on there to kind of help guide it down onto the cardstock. So I don't know if that helps you guys or not, but. I found that sometimes, because I get a little wiggly almost. This is just a black memento ink, and again, I'm going to kind of use this. I'm trying to kind of peek to see where the white spots were to get the eyes in there. I think we did a good job. And that's the kind of nice thing. This is a little bit watercolory looking, so if it's not perfect, that's okay. All right, so then we have, this is our Highland Heather ink, and I'm cheating and not opening it all the way, because we're just doing our nice, easy tap, 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 right? I'm going to close that up. And we've got our You Brighten My Day. Now, I wanna show you how I did the little egg there too, okay? It's not difficult. Um, I was kind of trying to decide. I think there are two different stamps that you use. I should have had that open. We're gonna do, this is the outline, and it's actually not on here. We're gonna do it on this piece, just a scrap piece of Whisper White. Okay, so here's the outline to our egg and then here and you saw on the other one when I flipped it over and I didn't like how I stamped it because I didn't get things lined up very well so let's try this and now the camera is right where I would want my head to be so we'll see how I did ah, I think we did all right it's not totally perfect I think it's off a little bit but again it kind of it's got that watercolory look you could always flip it over and try it again I think we're good though okay so now I'm going to show you how easy it is to just cut this out with your paper snips. So, and I love, I love, love, love my paper snips. I am leaving a little bit of white edge around kind of that purple line. And I'm almost kind of turning the paper into my snips. I found that that's a little bit helpful. And then actually I just cut right up on each of those and then I'll cut back in and I'll cut back up. And so I just kind of kept doing that on these. But again, I like to leave a little bit of white. I don't want to go so close. Um, I like to have that little bit of edge um, around that purple outline, okay? One there. So you can see, I mean, by the time you figure out your Big Shot um, <laughs> sandwich, 
you could have cut that. Was that ever? I hope that was in the, <laughs> I was so intent on like cutting this. I hope it wasn't way up there the whole time, but you kind of get the idea, right? Make sure you have a pair of paper snips. These are my favorite in the whole wide world. Yes, easy one for fussy cutting. Yes, it is, Philomena. Yes, it is. Okay, so that's how I did the other one, obviously. I just didn't think, oh, I probably don't need to like cut two of them in front of you guys, right? So we can pop this. Actually, let's not. Okay, we're gonna hopefully just set that right over there. Let's build our card, because I think we have everything now. I kind of want to put that on after I put that on my card. So I got too excited about that piece, but that's okay. All right, so we're gonna add our adhesive. Oops. Sometimes it's like it doesn't start, and I, I like it in the corner. I think that's helpful. If you just put it in your four corners, this is such a lightweight piece of paper. That's probably about all you need in terms of adhesive. Okay, now we're gonna add our little chickadee on here. Put that maybe right about there. Okay, now we're gonna add our little egg, right? Oh, yes, hey Sunday, how are you? Yes, I will see you in a few, that is right. Okay, we'll put that maybe right about there. And then, so I already did some more fussy cutting. This is one of the little umbrellas that are part of, you can see I've, I've cut out a little bit. I cut one there and I cut one there. These are part of the Pleased as Punch designer series paper because I do not have the umbrella builder punch. You can always use your paper snips, right? And just fussy cut things. If you don't have the dot or the punch, you can certainly get the punch, right? And it'll punch both of those um, umbrellas out or you can just fussy cut them, which is what I did with that one right there. So we're gonna just put this right up here <clears throat> with some more dimensionals. Okay, so we're just gonna pop these. And you guys can see, I've been having fun with the, um, um, what are these, the adhesive back sequence. Now these, okay, this, this is like a couple packages worth. These are the Gingham Gala adhesive back sequins. And I'm gonna attempt, I think, so it's, it's good to have like a little bit bigger package because they do tend to kind of get stuck underneath each other. Um, so you just have to be a little bit careful with them, but that's how I store mine. So these are, can you even see those? <laughs> these are the yellow, the So Saffron. There are just some regular, gosh, can you even see those? Maybe it's too right. Um, what if I put them on there? Yeah, now you can see them a little bit better, right? So we've got some flowers and then just some regular shaped sequins. So we're gonna use a couple of the flowers on our card also. So again, and I, so I'm using my paper snips. I think it's just about as easy as anything to use those and I kind of dig underneath there to get that glue dot. And then we're just gonna pop these around. So we just sprinkled a few sequins um, on this card as well. So yeah, you could put a cute bow too. That'd be another fun thing with that, maybe that polka dot tulle ribbon. That would work really well on either of these cards too, that really soft white tulle ribbon. So guys, those are the projects for today. I hope you enjoyed them, right? And uh, like I said, I wanna get your feedback. Would you rather, if you put an online order in and use the host code, um, if you spend $30, right, your name is gonna go in the drawing to get the well-dressed stamp set, and you, right now I'm gonna send you make and takes, and then you do your stamping and put everything together. But if you would rather just get the full cards, let me know, I'm happy to do it either way. I, like I said, I was kind of wondering if maybe that's why the, the orders were kind of dropping off a little bit. I'm sure maybe it has something to do with the coronavirus also, but anyway, I'm just kind of analyzing things, trying to figure out what's going on in the business. Um, but yes, and then if you bump your order up to $50, you either get the PDF tutorial or a package of the glitter enamel dots, and then you also get a face or um, a um, a celebration item too. So let me know if you guys have any questions on anything. I'm going to try to run and get this all uploaded before I get to class. Hey, Debbie, thanks for popping on. I'm glad you could join us, and thank you for sharing. So yeah, guys, do that too. Make sure you share. Um, love to find some new friends to uh, stamp with. So we'll see you guys next Friday. Okay, thank you so much. I'm glad you were here. Stay safe. Um, I hope everybody's healthy and doing all right, and we're just you know, kind of praying that this thing can pass us by sooner than later, right? So bye, everybody. Have a great weekend. Thank you.